Okay, so let's take a look at how we deal with the same exact problem, but now we're going to deal with it from a realistic standpoint. We're going to deal with this problem of friction. So we have to compensate for friction. So what do we do? Well, the first thing I have to do is we're going to compensate for the friction. So how do we calculate that? How, we, how do we turn something that's sort of theoretical at this point into uh, a number that we can work with? What we do is, is that we're going to take the total weight, all right, we're going to take the total weight, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to take 10% of the total weight, okay? Now that weight in this case is what? 500 pounds. So what is 10% of 500? Well, 10% of 10 is 1, or in this case, 500 pounds is going to be 50 pounds, okay? So now we have a figure we can use which is 50 pounds. That's 10% of 500. All right. Next, we need to take that 50 pounds of frictional loss and we need to apply it in such a way that we have to go back to our, our diagram here, our block and tackle, and we have to look at how many effects of that friction are going on. Well, remember earlier I said that that friction is caused by the shiv rotating around the pin. So how many shivs did I have in my drawing? Well, I've got one, two, three, four shivs. So there are four cases of 50 pounds that are causing a problem for me. So I have to compensate for that. So what do I do? So I go over here to my uh, formula and I have to compensate for that. So I'm just simply going to take four shivs and multiply it by the 10% of the 500, which is 50, which is going to equal what? 200 pounds. So in totality, there's 200 more pounds of frictional loss that I have to deal with. Okay. So now I have a number that I can take and put into my formula. The next step is is I've got to take the 200 pounds and I'm going to apply it to the total weight I already have. See my 500 pounds? I'm going to add those two together and I'm going to get a new total weight, okay, of 700 pounds. Now I can take this 700 pounds and I'm going to put it into the formula that I had earlier. I still have the same mechanical advantage. That hasn't changed. I still have four parts. One, two, three, four. But now you notice that friction has caused the new total weight to increase significantly. Okay? So now I'm going to take and finish out my formula by taking my 700 pounds. All right? So I get out my trusty TI-30XA and I'm going to take 700 and I'm going to divide it by 4. And now I have 175 pounds. So you can see that there was a significant increase in how much I've got to pull, okay, over here. Now I have to pull at 175 pounds versus 125 pounds because I've got to overcome the effects of friction. That's what we just calculated. We have to overcome the friction caused by each one of these shivs and the line rotating around the shiv. So this here is the more realistic number that I've got to deal with, okay, as a mariner in calculating how much force I'm going to have to apply. Now I can do this by having four or five guys jump on that line and pull together, or I can take it to a windlass or a capstan, anything that will create, you know, using energy uh, to create that force of the pull. So here's our new number. It's going to take 175 pounds to lift that 500 pounds in a realistic world because I've got to deal with the effects of friction.